Welcome to the Stray Kids Hot Mega Verse. <laughs> Hi everybody, my name is Jessica Holyfield and I'm a professional dance choreographer and dance educator based out of the southeast of the United States and we are taking a look at Megaverse by Stray Kids, the music video. So I just took a look at La 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 and that was my very first analysis I had ever done of Stray Kids on their movement quality but I was looking at other contexts within it and also I'm looking at Megaverse. This was the second choreography I took uh, the pleasure of looking at and I was honestly pretty constructive to the choreo video that was launched by JYP. I do understand that was more of a stage run through, things like that, I know that. Um, and, but I still, you know, we can't ignore a lot of the, the discrepancies that were taking place. But I'm excited to look at this visual because it's rounding out, we are nearing the end of my Stray Kids Marathon. So compared to when I an analyzed the choreography, to what I'm about to what I'm about to see now in terms of the megaverse visual is I've seen over a hundred different pieces of material in regards to stray kids and their movement quality. I have sat in this chair and watched a lot of production, lyricism, uh, just straight banter, good vibes, uh, film visuals, a uh, choreography, the whole shebang. I've seen so much <laughs> in a very short amount of time. So I'm very bittersweet for me to be able to sit here and watch this knowing what I know um, because I also know that I'm getting closer to really being caught up and experiencing Stray Kids in real time. So without further ado, let's check it out. Cognitive dissonance. The mass cuts on this are so freaking sick. Switching between them all. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. This is giving similar to Psychers with Tricky House, where they're taking this guy all over on like a shopping cart, all this stuff.
Why does he look familiar? Tablo, okay, okay. Dope. Yeah, no wonder he looked familiar. This is Tablo. He was with Epic High. But my question is, why was Tablo in this? Cause he's, he was with YG. Please hold. Okay, speculations are Tablo being here at the tail end of this. Um, yeah, Stray Kiss Tablo, it's hinting at a collaboration in the future. But this came out about half a year ago at this point. And, and I know the collaboration at this point, like my finale and my marathon is going to be Lose My Breath with Charlie Puth. So we technically haven't had a Tablo collab yet. But it wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. I think that would be freaking sick, honestly. And I'm so glad that my that my brain recognized him, even though I I didn't have enough confidence to actually guess his name. But ever since, since he wrote it out, I'm like, yes, this is Top Low through and through. This is a freaking sick music video. I do know Jordan Orme walked through this. It's so it's so cool. It basically is just it's they said hey welcome, and they basically just travel through different. They tra made him travel through different uh, mega verses or like a multiverse vibe, right? But also it feels, this is their way of like punishing the haters. It's like, you wish, you know, you wish you were us. You wish you could handle us and you can't. Like it kind of feels like that. And I'm here for it. And side note, if you, I don't know if any of you guys really know this, this song was, it's like my second song I ever added to my Just React Spotify playlist. I have a playlist that I just have songs on that I just genuinely like outside of the dance, outside of whatever. And I play this song all the time. So I am so familiar with this one compared to all the other Stray Kids tracks. I've played it months and months and months before I even started this marathon. So I'm really happy to have been able to see the visual for it. I've been waiting for it. Um, and it, it just feels like we're, you know, we're tying, we're tying a nice little bow on, on the era of Megaverse here. It makes me so excited to see what other works they're going to have because I'm, I'm getting like caught up, caught up. This was so cool. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. If you want to see my analysis of Megaverse, I have it already on YouTube. This will also be expedited and put on YouTube in way faster rate than any of the other reactions. I think La 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 will be the only other one that comes out like that unless the comeback takes place. Reason why is because I already did dance analysis for those two routines before I started my marathon. So they are not eligible to stay in the marathon. They're just going to be out in the real world. Um, I did this with Chung Ha. I've done this with a couple other groups. So uh, my point is this if you like how I approach choreography analysis of Stray Kids specifically I have a good solid hundred different reactions that are not released at this point in time that are on patreon like they have a stout collection on patreon right now of music video visuals choreography visuals behind the scenes material so much there so I have a lot of Stray Kids information in my head in terms of movement quality progressions from their debut to now compared to whenever I looked at Megaverse before. I still stand by everything I said in Megaverse because I've looked back at it recently. I still feel the same way that I did and I hope one day I'll be able to get a way cleaner, clear shot of the choreo, regardless if it's live or not, because I really want to have a rewatch and really see the integrity of the intention of it, but I digress. My point being, if you are, if you're a stay and you're a fan of Stray Kids and you like my perspective on stuff, um, then Patreon may be a really great place to just binge away of my entire perspective that I have of them. and. We we all know that they release a ton of content all year long, which means you're going to get a lot of older reactions that take place throughout the year to follow it. So even if you don't go to Patreon on YouTube, I am always open to discussions and I'm very excited to now know what I know, be able to contribute to the con uh, to the conversation more effectively compared to how I used to be. So once again, my name is Jess and I will catch you on the flip side. Bye.